So now we're going to explain a second general method for uh, uh, calculating root polynomials by uh, relating them to root polynomials of simpler boards. Um, so we're going to look at this board here. Uh, <coughs> and the idea is we're going to divide the squares into two different groups. Okay. Um, so maybe we'll uh, uh, we'll put this square here in uh, uh, <coughs> uh, in one group. In, uh, yeah, so call some of them group C and some of them group D. Um, and so we're going to make, make this one be in group D. But the... Uh, but the rule is that we have to organize things so that uh, you don't have uh, yeah, any two squares in the same row or in the same group and any two squares in the same column are also in the same group okay so we've got this d here and the c here and, and that's not allowed uh, if this one's in group d then this one has to be in group d so uh, we'll put it there um, <clears throat> and again uh, here uh, We've got a D here and a C here in the same column, and that's not allowed. We are supposed to be dividing into two groups such a way that uh, you know, any two squares in the same column are in the same group. So we have to make this one group D. Okay, uh, but but now we're okay. Um, yes, uh, every row is either purely C or purely D. Every column is either purely C or purely D. Um, and uh, so that's the condition under which we can do this factoring theorem. Um, we can uh, so what we can do is we can take the D's and we can sort of extract them, pull them out to make a separate board on their own. Uh, and uh, similarly, we can pull out the C's and make them into a separate board on their own. <clears throat> uh, and the rule now is that the uh, uh, <coughs> that the root polynomial for the full board here, is just a product of the two root polynomials for these uh, for these subboards. Okay, so the uh, root polynomial for the whole thing is the root polynomial for C times the root polynomial for D. And yeah, these are nice. Uh, these are significantly smaller boards, so it's easy enough to just do these by hand. And the root polynomial for D, especially, right? Uh, you always start with a one, and then the coefficient of x is the number of white squares, which is three. And uh, how can we place two rooks on D? It obviously has to be here and here. There's only one way to play two rooks, so you get a uh, uh, coefficient of x squared. Uh, <clears throat> and then the uh, root polynomial for c, again, uh, constant term is 1. There's 8 white squares, so you get an 8x. Uh, <clears throat> and then uh, it takes a little bit more work to uh, work out this 14 and this 4, but it's not terribly hard. Okay, so now we know what rc and rd are, and so we just have to multiply them together. Uh, to get the root polynomial for the original board, 1 plus 11x, 39x squared, 54x cubed, 24, uh, 26x to the fourth, and 4x to the fifth. <coughs> okay. um, so let's just uh, have a look at the uh, uh, original condition again. So we set everything to C. Okay, if we uh, instead if we wanted to sort of mark this one with a D, you know, then we'd have to mark that one in a D because it's in the same row. Mark that one with a D because it's in the same row. Mark that one with a D because it's in the same column. Again, that has to be a D, that has to be a D, that has to be a D, that has to be a D. Okay, so uh, we basically have to have the same pattern as we had before, except now we've got the C's and the D's the other way around. Okay, and so, uh, and the, the, word, the phrase that we use for this, we say the C's and the D's are fully disjoint. Okay, so uh, every row is either purely C or purely D. Every column is either purely C or purely D. Uh, that's what it means to say that these two subboards are fully disjoint. And uh, when they're fully disjoint, um, we can extract them. Okay, so the, I mean, the fact that we can slide C out like this is that's just because every row is purely C or purely D. Uh, and the fact that we can slide the Ds out like this is just because every uh, every column is either purely C or purely D. Yeah. And again, the conclusion, the uh, root polynomial for the full thing is the root polynomial for C times the root polynomial for D. Okay. 